For those looking for a solution to engage meaningfully with their audience in an atmosphere that will elevate their brand, Design Director introduces VEP, the premier virtual experience platform. This platform offers the latest in advanced business-to-business -business social engagement. I think the AMD Virtual IT Experience, uh, when we launched it last year, it provided a very nice platform for AMD and their partners to be together in one virtual trade show floor. The first virtual experience that uh, AMD launched last year at this time um, was a huge step in the right direction of being able to take the power of a physical event and convert it to a digital experience. The decision to do AVE 2.0 was one of the easiest decisions I've had to make uh, in, in my role at AMD. We're very happy that, um, that we're able to bring this next level of functionality, this next level of digital communications to not only a number of the partners that were there last year, but a number of new partners as well. Truly one of the most important things for any user in a real physical trade show or a virtual trade show is to be able to communicate. So we're very excited about this functionality and this level of communication. In addition to community chat, we now have the ability to tailor content recommendations based upon your interests or your job title. One of the other great functionalities within the toolbar is actually search. What it will do is actually search for specific content. So it'll actually take you directly to a specific spot within a video or audio file. And that's another new technology we've added. It's called AVQ Surge. E-commerce has become an increasingly important functionality in today's online community. Not only do users want to gather the information they need in order to make purchasing decisions, they want to be able to make that purchase right then and there. As an exhibitor, I want nothing more than to be able to move more units. So we have added an e-commerce feature to our platform that is completely integrated and allows a booth owner to set special pricing for that event. It's all about relevance. In a virtual world where you have over 300 downloads and over 600 videos, it's got to be about relevance. Otherwise, there's just too much information for too many people. So what the virtual experience does is it presents that same information that you would get um, through other means in a very digestible, uh, visually stimulating way. It provides a platform that any one of these partners wouldn't be able to have within their own corporate website or, or their own corporate environment. And the virtual experience is a perfect vehicle for uh, companies of all sizes, really, to be able to take complex pieces of information, get a scale and scope of the power of the web, and deliver a personal connection to their audiences. So the workforce is gradually going to be getting younger. The CEO of tomorrow is sitting in middle management today and what they need in order to make their purchasing decisions is information at their fingertips in a very visual uh, and visually engaging way. Um, and that's exactly what the virtual experience does. It's just a, a wonderful medium to get a very broad message out. Um, sometimes we think we can't do enough to really get all the cool stuff we have out to the customers who want to buy it. So uh, we'll do anything we can to make sure we get our story out and this has been just a tremendous asset to make sure that the full story does get out. Having the scale and scope of the web with digestible content, spatial reasoning, and really a sense of place, and really convey that personal connection of the digital communication, there's no better vehicle than the virtual experience. The future of virtual experiences are really about features like lead generation, our webinar and session tracks, the toolbar functionality, where relevant content is brought to you based upon how you register, our AVQ search technology that allows you to find relevant content inside of video and audio. And then we're going to expand into other features like virtual business cards, more customization, more personalization, user-generated content, all in the comfort of your own personal workspace. 